Hello, hello everyone, and holy crap do I have something to show to you guys. Just after getting to see the new CV rework, what you guys are looking at right now is the upcoming submarines in the upcoming Halloween event. Now, at first glance you go, well, this is just a Halloween event. Um, who cares? This has always been a fun event where you fight like monster ships and test a bunch of stuff. But when you start looking at just how much effort and time Wargaming has clearly put into these mechanics, that's when you start realizing that this is a lot more than just a fun little event that they have planned. Submarines. Um, what you're seeing here is the new diving mechanics, and it goes a lot more in-depth than this. You can completely dive beneath the surface, you can control your ascent, your descent, and of course you have to keep in mind that once again this is the Halloween event, which means that obviously uh, the ship will probably be moving a lot faster, it will be ascending and sinking faster, and uh, in general the maneuverability will probably be a lot better than what you can expect to see much much later. Now wh why do I say much much later? Because Wargaming has always used the Halloween and the April Fools events to test new gameplay. It's always been like that. Uh, you know Operations? Yeah, those were first and they were first the Halloween event in 2016. They tested the uh, the Operation things during that event and then it became part of the game. Other things they've tested? Dynamic Weather, uh, Cyclone, uh, including the new iterations of Cyclone, Reload Booster, AoE effects like being near a ship repairs your ship, single torp launchers, all of these are different mechanics that Wargaming has tested in during the Halloween or the April Fools event. And that's because this event gives them this nice confined little sandbox where there's a very set uh, there's a set amount of opponents, there's, there's there's a small controlled area where they can test a bunch of new mechanics and that's exactly what they're doing right now. They are testing submarines, so in the upcoming Halloween event you guys will be, to, be, will be able to play these submarines. Of course what we're seeing here is of course a very, a very fantasy version, I mean World Warships is a very arcadey game, uh, but during this event they are always extra arcadey, like the Torps are insanely fast and so forth. Um, but what we are seeing here is just how much effort they put into these new mechanics. Uh, the diving, the controlling, and of course you're going to be seeing death charges as well. And during the developer commentary it was mentioned that you will actually be able to and probably forced to actively dodge uh, torps, or dodge death charges. In fact, what they called it was horizontal torpedo beats, meaning death charges come in and you have to go below it or above it and so forth, depending on how high it will uh, detonate. So, there's a lot of new mechanics and a lot of new gameplay. Also worth mentioning is that going underwater extinguishes fires and so forth. So there's obviously a lot of effort put into this. So already from the get-go it was pretty obvious that this is, this is something that Wargaming is probably planning to introduce. And then, when I spoke about this on Twitter, one of the dudes actually linked me an interview which was published today by VentureBeat. And it's an interview with... Alexander Nikolaev, uh, the publishing director f for North America at World of Warships Group at Wargaming. Uh, and what they and that interview basically confirms that the CV rework is going to come 2019. And also, uh, this is a di direct quote, then they will collect feedback from fans and introduce submarines and a revamp of carriers in 2019. So that's pretty much as close as we can get right now to almost a confirmation uh, that both the CV rework is coming 2019 and that submarines will be added to the game in 2019. So, I mean, obviously they're gonna have a lot of work to balance this, but clearly they have made the game, like, uh, the initial gameplay, they made it work, they managed to make it, well, it looks smooth, it actually looks like something that could be quite fun, but of course balancing issues will naturally be probably massive and it's not going to be an easy time balancing the damage versus the spotting. Uh, they already mentioned during the developer Q&A that if you're underwater you won't be spotting uh, the same way as if you're up at the surface, which I like, because obviously we don't want to recreate the carrier dilemma where one ship is capable of doing so many things at once and it makes it so very strong. So. 
There's a bunch of new mechanics and a bunch of new gameplay coming and how they will balance it. Like, they didn't mention anything about capping, which is something I was quite interested about because hopefully you cannot cap objectives while underwater because that would obviously be horribly broken. Uh, being able to cap... I mean, if, if the enemy has no way of spotting you and you're just capping the objective from underwater, that's obviously quite broken. So they're going to have to balance things like that. And also... What happens if the idea is that they're adding death charges to the destroyers, so the destroyers can drop death charges on uh, these submarines? But what happens if you lose all your DDs? I mean, it's not uncommon for your DDs to suicide. Uh, how exactly will you deal with submarines then? Like, what what is what are your counterplay options and so forth? So we're we're seeing. A whole lot of new stuff and a whole lot of interesting stuff. I'll give you an, uh, a link to that Venture Beat interview that I found. Uh, I'll link it below in... Uh, I'll pin a comment and link it there so you guys can check it out. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of interesting stuff coming. And I guess, well, at this point, the new Halloween event, the upcoming Halloween event is going to be the really interesting one because... We're going to be testing submarines. Something Wargaming did say they weren't going to add, but then again, um, I guess, well, their words were that it's pretty much impossible for them to add it. But I guess they finally, they started running out of other lines or other ships or whatever. They wanted something new, and the easiest way to do it was, of course, the massive untapped market of submarines. So it's in that sense, this is not a surprising thing. Um, everyone was speculating that it was going to happen sooner or later. But now it is absolutely confirmed. They will be testing the gameplay, getting feedback, and then they will try to, try to roll it out in 2019. Even though I'm worried about the balancing issues and uh, whatever other issues might arise, I am quite hyped. Uh, because, well, it's gonna open up some completely new gameplay options, and it might completely shift the entire gameplay meta around to some... I mean, it's a completely new class being added. It's gonna take some while, some time, of course, but... When it does arrive, well, this ship is this game is going to change so much in the next year because the carrier rework and submarines at the same time, like the carrier rework alone, practically makes the carrier as a completely new class, and now we have a completely an, another completely new class added as well. So, I am very much looking forward to it. Uh, I hope you guys are also quite hyped. We'll see how they balance it. That is, of course, going to be the major concern on everyone's mind. But this might be very cool indeed. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for tuning in, I'll talk to you guys later.